Rachel and Shannon walked into the bar like they owned the place. It was a great mix of people between 20 and 50, all having a good time listening to great music. 70s, 80s, and 90s rock. That's the way Rachel and Shannon like their evenings. Old school and eclectic. Now, they set their sights on finding some hot, young hunk to hook up with. Why else would Shannon be dressed in a tight miniskirt and three-inch heels, and Rachel in her tightest pair of jeans and a low-cut tank top except to dance, have fun, and attract attention. The right kind of attention. It didn't take long before Rachel caught the eye of a very tall and very nice-looking young man. He made his way across the dance floor. Cool, easy, athletic. He asked her to dance. Even with her heels, she was barely higher than his shoulder. He said his name was Dwayne. He worked on a farm. In fact, he grew up on one, which explains the muscular, mature body with the fresh, boyish face. Rachel leaned in to converse with Dwayne and discovered they both had a love for Harley motorcycles. Neither one of them owned one, but It was a dream. It was also a great excuse for Rachel to press herself against Duane's torso. As she did so, she could feel the heat of his body penetrate her. Duane put a hand on her lower back and pulled her even closer. He started to lean down to plant one on her. Rachel tilted her head back and met his mouth with a soft, slightly open mouth of her own, right there on the dance floor, creating a night to remember. It didn't take much longer for them to decide to leave the club. Rachel quickly texted her friend Shannon to say they were going back to the hotel. It was a Hilton one that Rachel had scoped out before they arrived at the club, just in case something like this happened. Shannon texted back, happy for her, as she was creating a night to remember for herself with an equally studly young man. Rachel and Duane left the club, hopped into a cab, and went straight to the Hilton Suite.